The shooting rampage apparently started at this home in Santa Monica. Neighbors heard shots fired, then saw the house burst into flames. Witnesses heard more shots. This woman driving past at the time was wounded, and the suspect hijacked a car and fled. He's described as being a male white, 25 to 30 years of age approximately. He was wearing all black clothing and what appears to be a ballistic vest. The carnage continued at seemingly random spots along this busy street as the suspect fled in the hijacked car, intermittently stopping and firing wildly with an AR-15 assault rifle. When he went so fast, he got out of the car and he was standing in the middle of the intersection and from left to the right, he just started blasting rounds. Police believe the shooter fired on this red SUV outside Santa Monica College, killing its driver and critically wounding its passenger. He then abandoned his car on campus and shot a woman who later died. He then fled into the library as stunned onlookers dove for cover. We just kind of looked at each other and he panned around with his gun and shot at me. I jumped out of the way just as I saw him panning and I heard a whoosh go by my head. The school went into lockdown and terrified students huddled inside as the gunman made his way into the library, firing as he went. By this time, police had caught up with him. The officers came in and directly engaged the suspect, and he was shot and killed on the scene. Police still haven't identified all of the victims, but they believe two bodies found in the burned-out home are the father and brother of the gunman. The others apparently were all in the wrong place at the wrong time. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Carter Evans, Santa Monica.